Shalom, all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall awam. And we here at Great Millstone, starting with the head apostles and elders, have the greatest gift upon the planet. And that great gift that I speak of is found in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 8. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that ye is speaking of, in our case, the hopeful elect, because we shall be saved through faith in our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Read known, and that not of yourselves, all right, there's nothing we can carnally do to save ourselves, but have faith in, in, in hopes of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, Delivering us in the day of judgment by doing the works of Yahweh Shah and keeping the faith in Yahweh Shah that he shall deliver us. Read known, it is a gift, all right, of the Most High, all right? It is a gift of the Most High, okay, which is the greatest gift upon the planet, okay? Through faith, we receive these, these scriptures, all right, by the Spirit leading our apostles and our elders, all right, to teach. All right, and we believed and received these these truths of these King James versions that we receive, all right, through the Spirit by the gift of faith. This is um the book of Hebrews, chapter four and verse two. And it reads For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, and that us is the ones that received this gospel through faith. All right. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. All right. And the them are the ones that lack faith. All right. But the word preached did not profit them. All right. The ones that lack faith for the simple reason, because they lack faith. All right. Read known not being mixed. See, with faith in them that heard it. All right. And that's the difference between uh, a lot of. Uh, Hebrew Israelite groups, all right? They can tell you that you are part of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, all right? But they're not preaching Yahweh Shah, which meaning they lack faith, okay? Uh, because, see, we have believed the report. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, Isaiah 53 and verse 1. This is Isaiah 53 and verse 1. Who have believed our report? All right. Who have believed the, 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 the news? All right. And to whom is the arm of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, revealed? All right. Who's the arm of the Lord of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah? All right. Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right. And we believe how? Through faith. All right. In our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, which is that good news, which is that great report. All right. And this is the report of the elders, man. All right. The, the report of Rabbi Ava Bivens. All right. Uh, 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 bringing in the Savior, man. And we believe through faith. OK. This is. um The book of Hebrews. Since we're on the subject of faith. What is faith? And the answer here in Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is this faith. Is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, Hebrews 11 and 1 again. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, and we are hoping, all right, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, in the next second, all right, to destroy this place, man. All right, and, and we have a uh, uh, hope. All right, which is faith, okay, that Yahweh Shah is going to deliver us, all right, that we store up our treasures in heaven, all right, here in these present times, 
which is uh, uh, the duty required of us, the task at hand, which is doing the work, all right, in hopes of being delivered. That's that's our, let's read it again, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, all right, the evidence of things not, not seen, all right, and that thing that is not seen is, is the kingdom, all right? Really, really we, we possess the kingdom because we possess uh, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High. We possess uh, faith. We possess faith in our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, but we can't physically see it. All right. But we spiritually see it. All right. That's our faith. OK. Verse two. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. Yeah. Our apostles and our elders, for an example. All right. Obtain a good report because they have uh, um, stayed steadfast in the in the faith for a, a, a long period of time. man. All right. Two or three decades, man. OK. The apostles and the elders, man. Some some apostles, uh, uh, thirty plus, twenty plus, fifteen. All right, elders, fifteen. All right, ten. Okay, that's obtaining a good report because they have been constant in the faith, man. All right, so it's all about faith, man. You know, without faith, uh, uh we would be nothing, man. You know, uh, I got a quick example, okay, of 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 faith. That I like to bring out, you know, time to time through the spirit. This is um, the book of Matthews. Chapter nine. And. Um, twenty seven. Cut is Matthew chapter nine and verse twenty seven. Twenty seven. And when Yahweh Shah departed thence. Two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of thou son of David, have mercy on us. Alright? And we have received mercy. Alright, because we understand these scriptures, man. Verse 28. And when he was come unto the house, the blind men came to him. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Now, obviously, the blind man was coming to Yahweh Shah because they heard of him doing miracles and they wanted him to what? Restore their sight. But the question that Yahweh Shah asked them here in verse 28, let's read it again, Matthew 9 and 28. And when he came unto the house, the blind man came to him. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? See, Yahweh Shah posed the question before he would do anything. He asked them, do you believe, all right, that I can heal you or restore your sight? Do you believe, all right? They said unto him, yea, Lord, verse 29. Then, then, after the, the guy said, yeah, we believe, okay? Then, verse 29, then, Touch he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. All right. And that's uh, things that was written aforetime was written for our learning, man. All right. That was a prime example for us to, 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 to see the power of faith, man. All right. These two guys um, uh, seek Yahweh Shah to be healed. But Yahweh Shah said, do you believe that I can do it? And these guys believed and they was healed, man. All right. According to their faith, man. All right. So it's all about our faith. As a matter of fact, it's it's all according to our faith, man. You know, that's why we must pray for an increase of faith, man, because that's that's what our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, is going to be looking for, man. All right. When he visit this earth, man. Matter of fact, let's get that thing. That's Hebrews 11. Gun. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 and it reads but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him that's right without faith it is impossible to please Yahweh Yahweh Shah all right 
in order for you to to for these things to benefit you like we just read in hebrews 4 and 2 you must what for first believe the blind men believed first after yahweh shah asked them do you believe and they said yay lord that's how they was healed through their faith all right and the scripture said we, we must believe what he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him all right and that's our faith man we believe that yahweh uh, Yahweh Vashem, Yahweh Shah shall, shall send his only begotten son to save us, man. All right. Because we are diligently seeking him. All right. For a reward, which is the, uh, our eternal rest, man. The kingdom of heaven to reign alongside our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right. Through faith. Okay. And we don't want to be in this truth. Uh, uh, not, not, uh, having, having the faith because if you do, you're doing nothing but condemning yourself, man. This is Romans chapter 14. And, uh, so like it. Romans chapter 14 and verse 22. Have thou faith? Have it to your, to thyself before the most high. All right. So we got to have faith unto ourselves before the most high, man. You know, hey, you, 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 you can fake break in front of, uh, an individual and act put on a front as if I'm oh, this and blah blah blah. But the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, know your heart. Read known, happy is he that can, happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. Verse 23, hmm. and he that doubteth is damned if he eat. Eat what? These scriptures are, 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 are the what? The bread of life, man. The scripture said, and he that doubteth, okay, doubt is what? The opposite of faith. Is damned if he eateth. So if you partake, uh, put your hand to the plow and partake of doing the work of Yahweh Shai and, and, and doubt, all right, you, you are damning yourself, all right? That's something that you're allowing, okay? Read known because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. All right. And we don't want to do that. We want to be in this thing and, and be all the way in. All right. Be, be all the way in this truth, man. Not one foot, not one foot in, one foot out. All right. Not believe in, in one thing and not believe the other. All right. Because you, you, you shall condemn yourself, man, by doubting, man. All right. That's one thing we don't want to do. Ecclesiastes chapter two and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? See? So the point is, look at look at the generations of old, man. Things that were written before, uh, 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 written, written before time was written for our learning, man. Okay? The events that happen, just like uh, if you read uh, uh, Hebrews 11 chapter, it gives you prime examples of the patriots and, and their and their faith, man. So we got plenty of examples of faith, all right? If we just keep the faith, okay, we will never be confounded. We will never be ashamed, all right? We will never, and, and, and to be ashamed is to be found naked, all right, in the day of judgment, Okay. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18 and verse 8. And it reads, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. All right. And that's, in our case, the hopefully let. Okay. That's the them. And the he is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. Never, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. All right. And that's what we want to have when our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, visit this planet, man, all right, because that's what he's coming to look for, is faith, all right, and we want to continue in the faith, all right, because what's the benefit, what's, what, what is faith, the, the, the greatest gift, all right, and we want to possess that unto the end, and we want to have that faith when Yahweh Shai visit, because that's what's going to save us, all right, the opposite of faith is what, doubt, and, and, and doubt leads to death, okay, Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying. Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying. 
And to recap the lesson, all right, we have the greatest gift upon the planet, which is faith. All right. And that's something we don't want to lose. That's something that we want to continue in because it is a reward. OK, to faith. OK, the most high shall reward us with the kingdom of heaven, with our eternal rest through faith in him. All right. Faith in his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. All right. Which is our Lord and our savior. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. Shalom.